Um, Baron Gil Fillin, who is the lead, uh, the, the head of ISOM, as in the International School of Ministries, announced, uh, and I will read this entire thing because it's actually, um, I don't know, it seems kind of nice, kind of n- not mean spirited. He says, Uh, I am announcing a settlement between Good Shepherd and Eric July and Rip Reverse LLC, the ISOM trademark lawsuit update uh, at Eric July. It is with a sense of joy and relief that we at Good Shepherd Ministries announced that we have fully resolved our dispute with Mr. Eric July and his Rip Reverse companies. This is being announced during this season where we celebrate God sending his son to resolve a major issue between him and humankind. Not that the two events anyway are compatible, but in desire to reconcile is the appropriate analogy. Uh, both Mr. July and I, Reverend Baron Gillifin, are people who profess a Christian faith, and we both ultimately answer to our one master, Jesus Christ. This is very, you can tell this guy is uh, all about it, I guess. Uh, it is therefore right that we come to the table and discuss very real issues and find ways that are mutually acceptable to resolve them. Unfortunately, this had to play out in a very public and in an ultra polarized social and political environment. It is somewhat miraculous that, despite all the hateful rhetoric online and the thousands of hours of other negative online commentary, reason and commonality have prevailed. We are grateful to Mr. July and all the lawyers involved for their attention to details, their willingness to create a legitimate separation in our names and branding, and for the countless hours both sides put into the negotiations. In the end, a willingness to find a solution drove us to mutually acceptable agreement. We look forward to going on with this issue resolved, each in our separate lanes, and we wish Mr. July and the Ripperverse lands a wonderful Christmas in 2024 and beyond. Uh, attached is Eric July's statement, which I've listened to uh, most of it. There are shots at basically everybody in this. Uh, Eric July calls every, everyone a fucking snake. Uh, he makes fun of Riketa, says, uh, you know, I heard a lot of stuff from people on the internet and people seem to think that the prevailing opinion is the one that they hear the most often, but I have actual lawyers that work for me every day. Uh, none of them with substance abuse problems. So he's like openly shitting on uh, Riketa and stuff. And then Dick comes out and his dipshit ass opinion is that they settled. So therefore Eric admits wrong. And there's two things with that. Uh, first of all, almost every lawsuit in the world settles out of court um, unless there is like a serious infringement and it cannot be resolved uh, um, diplomatically. Like a lot of times you file in court and then you just settle. That's just how it goes. Because if you think about it, in most cases, the damages are not going to be less than the cost of going to trial. Like in almost no cases is it worth pursuing a a jury trial over just settling like even if you're in the right Uh, so almost all quick cases settle out of court Uh, the other thing is that um there there's a often misattributed bible verse um that people especially neo-pagans like to throw around as proof that christianity is like a very weak religion that shouldn't be taken seriously and is open to being exploited by jews or whatever and that's the 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 verses about turning the other cheek. The turning the other cheek is literally about court cases. Uh, it's very specifically in a uh, legal disagreement between two Christian parties that you should not pursue revenge as a policy. So, theoretically, uh, if Eric July and uh, this other guy, Berlin, or Baron, uh, are Christian then it is uh, appropriate that they would turn the other cheek and they would not seek revenge as a, as a legal policy and would just settle out of court. But I, I don't know. I guess that kind of thing doesn't really apply to Dick Masterson, who has to pretend that he's right all the fucking time or for internet clout. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.